Yeah, I'll make sure everything's true. All right, Shalom. Shalom. We the brothers of Great Millstone and Branch Out in this Moines here with the brothers from Chicago. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Akwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Take it over. This is the book of uh, Sirach, uh, chapter 37, and verse um, 15. Well, I'll just start at verse 13. It says, and let the counsel, verse 14, for a man's mind is sometimes wont to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in the high tower, high tower. And above all this, pray to the most high that he will direct thy way in truth. And so that's it, man. So the scriptures uh, said what? That we have to pray to the Lord that he directs our uh, ways in the ways of truth, man. All right, because as the scriptures uh, uh, tell us, all right, it tells us that what, man? There's no free will. All right, the scriptures talk about how um, a man's mind, um, how's it worded? It's like the algorithm real quick. In the book of Proverbs, direct us. So. Real quick, just bear with me. A man devises his, uh, kind. his steps with the spoils and arrows at the most high, something, something to that effect. Yeah, kind. Help the brother out. I got one that, that kind of uh, uh, mirrors that. It's Proverbs 16 and 1. It says, The preparations of the heart and man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 9. Oh, sloppy, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. It's verse 9. It says, A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. That's right. So that lets you know that what? There's no free will, man. So the Lord directs all of our paths, He directs all of our steps. That's why the scriptures uh, talk about in Revelations, let the uh, filthy be filthy still, or let the righteous be righteous still, and so on and so forth. Everybody's going to fall in their lot, and we're hoping to fall into the lot of the righteous. So ultimately, what do we have to pray unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad, that our steps are directed in truth? Huh? Oh, it's Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. And we are made kings under the order of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it says what? Well, we are kings and priests. So it says that the, the king of the heart is in the hand of the Lord. You see? So the brother started with that Sirach and says, pray unto the Lord that he don't direct your way in truth. So we're praying that hey, our preparations, we're praying that our thoughts, that uh, our speech. Can a brother get Psalms 19? Psalms 19? Yeah. Well, uh, you know. Because it all starts with prayer, man. And like the brother says, there's no free will. Everything is predestined. According to the book of Ephesians, it speaks about what? How, how we were predestined to come into this. You know? So we hope and pray, how about Shem Yahushua, to, to continue to direct our way in truth. Continue to guide our minds in righteousness. You see? Because everything is already set in its proper order. So all we got to do is continue to strive and, 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 and put on as the elect of the Most High. And continue to pray and do the things that's written within these pages that the elect would do. You know? Uh, this is Psalm 19 and 10. I'm sorry, 9. The fear of Yahweh is clean and during forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. And that's, and that's how you clean. That's how you wash yourself. It's, it's say that, that it's clean. You know, that, that that's the word. The scripture says that uh, this word had been purified seven times, man. So this is how we're found without God. This is how we're found uh, spotless in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem you know, by, by, by taking hold to his judgment. As it is written, establish judgment in the gate, you know. More to desire are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Mm -hmm. Moreover, by them is thy servant born. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright. Then shall I be upright. And I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. And that's the point right there, man. You know, praying and see how about Shami Yahweh and asking that hey, the, the, the thoughts of our hearts, the thoughts of our mind, 
and the words that we formulate from those thoughts, man, may it be acceptable in his sight. That all goes back to the, uh, the scripture the brother started off with, man. You know, praying and desiring that the Lord direct our way in truth. I got one, uh, two for you real quick. And this Psalms 119 and 9, it says, Well, with shall a young man class his way by taking heed thereto on, according to thy word. Like the brother said, man, this is how you watch, this is how you clean. What's taking me according to the word, man? According back to the Sirach, the brother brought out. There's the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Because the brother brought out in Sirach, it says, For a man mind is sometimes want to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in the high tower. So we must what? And above all, pray to the Most High that He direct our way in truth. How is the Most High directing our way in truth? By getting us to lean on Him, not to lean on ourselves, not to lean on the oppressors, man, but trusting in Him. It says, verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. As long as we acknowledge Him, Yahweh Basham Al Shah, and these words that are written, He's going to direct our path, and He's going to cleanse us, He's going to keep us, man. I got him. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, if the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, who can know it? You know, and that's what we got to pray, man, because our own mind is, is bugged out, man. You know, the only reason how, how we can become righteous is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, his word and, and, uh, and us praying to him. You know? This is uh, the book of Philippians, chapter 2, and verse. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, verse 12, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's a part of that fear and trembling and knowing that everything goes according to predestination, man. You know, we don't know what we did in our past lives, all right? We don't know the, the, all the sins and the iniquities that we committed. And we're hoping that uh, we're forgiven for those things, man, you know? But at the end of the day, we don't know. We don't know what we've done. So we're working out the salvation, uh, our salvation with fear and with trembling, man. As the scripture says in the book of Sirach, we're all worthy of, uh, worthy of our punishment, man. So at the end of the day, we're all worthy to be swimming in the lake of fire, man. All right? Destroyed, man. You know? It's all through the mercy of the Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that's a part of having that fear and that trembling, man. It says in verse 13, for it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So these things that we're doing, like this lesson that we're doing, man, it's the spirit that uh, it's the spirit of the Lord that's come upon us to will us to do these things, man. You know, like me and the brother we was talking about earlier uh, when we were eating, man. You know, we was talking about how this flesh is bugged out. You know, uh, the brother brought out that scripture out. Uh, the mind is deceitful, desperately wicked, man. So it's the spirit that comes upon us to do these things, man. To do the reading, to do the studying, all right. To fast and all those things, man. So having that understanding, knowing that it's the Lord that's working in us, we got to pray to the Lord that he keeps that spirit on us, man. Like King David said, man, in Psalms 51st chapter, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, man. You know? This is uh, Genesis 6 and 11. It says, the earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth, man. And it's the same thing as today. The scripture says, what? As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. You know? So this place is continually filthy, man. This place is through. And it's another scripture that says, um, Salakia. Verse 5. This is Genesis 6 and 5. It says, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually man and it's the same way it is today man because the brother quoted the well actually the brother read that jeremiah 17 and 9 that the heart is uh, uh is the sequel above all man so how much more do we got to pray that yahweh basham yahweh keep his holy spirit within us that we can continue to uh, uh meditate on good things man and what's the good things is these precepts it's the scriptures continually striving to do what's right in his sight how do you do that through the scriptures Continue to pray and asking how about Shami to uh, uh, to mold you into the uh, uh, the man that he wants us to be, man. The Lord said uh, uh, through the through the mouth of King David, man. He said, uh, uh, "Try my heart and my reins, man." That's what Yahweh Shah went through. The Lord proved Yahweh Shah, man. 
And he was found faithful. The same thing as all the prophets and all AA. Hey, when they had to be put to death in different situations that had to be put in, look at King David and his situations. Man, he was being tried. So the Lord is going to try our faith to see what? To see if we stand firm. So we got to continue to pray to about Shem Yahushua to direct our way in truth. Because in the book of Proverbs, it says, keep thy heart with all diligence. Because out of it is the issues of life. Meaning what? We got to keep our mind. How do we keep our mind? We got to keep our mind whole within this faith. Because it says Satan desired to sift thee as wheat. That word sift is inward agitations. So different things is going to be uh, presented before you to, to, to irk you, to irritate you. The same thing that was going on with Job. Satan came and said, hey, you know, have you not protected him and put a hedge over him? If you do this, this is going to happen. If you do that, that's going to happen. So these different things uh, is allowed to happen throughout our life, man, to test our faith, to see if we really believe in this, man. As Job said, hey, we receive the good of the Lord. Shall we not receive the bad? Satan is proving our faith that we love the Lord. I forgot what that was. Yep. This is First Peter 1. And uh, I'm starting at five. Who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein he greatly rejoiced, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than the gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Amashiach, whom having not seen, ye love. And whom though now you see him not yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. It's like the brother Thay said, the things we go through is, is the, that precious child of our faith, which is more precious than gold, man, because this, this is what the elect is going to have, that faith that uh, that they won't be moved and shaken from, man. We go through trials. We got to praise the Lord that we endure, endure those trials. Because you know the funny thing about it, in the Hebrews, it talks about if you're chastened, you know, if you go through those tribulations, then you are, are you sons. But it says if you endure <laughs> those tribulations, those chastisements, then you count as sons. So everybody's going to be chastised, but the fact that you endure shows that you're counted as a son to the Heavenly Father. So that's our prayer, man, that the Lord bless us to endure the tribulations, man, that we get past those trials, that he keeps us in the Holy Spirit. But he don't take his spirit away from us. He don't take his, his protection off of us, man. Right. Right. And it's the prayer of uh, King David. This is Psalms 51, verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Like, like, the, like the brother said, you know, hey, uh, you gotta always pray that the most high is, uh, uh give us his mercies. Because understanding knowing that we're going through things, we're gonna get chastised. We, we we look forward to mercy, man. But on, on the side of seeking mercy, we can also acknowledge why we need mercy. We in this flesh, we, we messed up, like the brother mentioned earlier. This, this flesh is uh subject to vanity, man. You know, the same as being subject to vanity, we're subject to hope. That's why we lean on the Lord, man. That's why we pray that our uh, path. It's being directed in truth. It says, uh, I'm going to jump down. It says, create me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. And how's your heart is made clean? How's your spirit is renewed by the word? You know, by the washing of the word. It says, cast me not away from thy presence, to take not thy Holy Spirit from me, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 15 and 19. It says, For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornication, uh, death, false witness, blasphemies. Because uh, these are the things that, hey, that are the battlefield of the mind. You know what I'm saying? These thoughts that come into our mind and stuff, we got to rebuke evil thoughts. You know what I'm saying? We got to constantly be uh, rebuking these. Don't entertain evil thoughts in our mind and stuff like that. So it's even a battlefield in our mind that we got to be fighting too, fighting the temptations of, of all these, uh, of all the things of this world. You know what I'm saying? So, God just says that uh, Satan desired to sift you. When you go into that word sift, it means inward as an agitation, man. So the main battle is inward. The main battle is, is you and your own mind. That's why the scriptures say in the book of Sirach, it says, uh, 
Blessed is the man whose conscience has not condemned him, man, because your mind will tell you that you're not a man of the Lord. Your mind will tell you that 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 you're not going to make it. Your mind will have you going off, man. But what is it saying? Uh, I believe it's uh, Ezra, uh, cast off the mortal dots, all right? Uh, 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 and it talks about the heart that, that presseth upon the soul, man, all right? And music upon many things, all right? You got to reject all them wicked-ass thoughts and fight it with uh, the scriptures, man. That's how you beat Satan. Satan comes into your mind. Going back into the scripture that I quoted, Satan desires to sift you. Sift you is inward agitation. So the main place Satan is going to come see you at is right up there in your head, man. So how do you battle him? How do you beat him? The same way Yahweh Shai beat him. By bringing out them scriptures, man. Bringing out them precepts, man. And that's knowing, how we That's how we sent Satan up the block. Yeah, and knowing the power of the Lord. And because in the book of 1 John, it says that if our conscience condemn us, the Most High is greater than our conscience, man. So having that faith in Yahweh by Shabbat Yahweh Shai, that he's able to do these things that he's promised us, man. Same faith that Abraham had. That same faith, man. Sarah was, was, was past the age of bearing children, man. But he didn't stagger. He didn't doubt in his mind, like, but, 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 but she just, you know? It said he was strong in faith, man. Same thing that we must have, man, that, that same confidence in Yahweh Basham Yahushai, his promise and his word that, that he's, he's presenting unto us. Brother quoted that scripture in Sirach, the 14th chapter. Blessed is the man whose conscience have not condemned him. That shows faith in Yahweh Basham. That shows the hope in the faith that you have, man. If you continue to push forward, hey, we know all the things we committed. That's why in the book of Second Edris, the 16th chapter, it says, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities build up. Meaning what? The things that they just man followed seven times. The things that you committed, don't, don't let that shit press down on your mind. Satan gonna come and bring it. Remember you did that. Remember you did that. But you gotta have that faith and that hope in your heart was shot at. That's forgiven, man. You gotta continue to push forward, you know? Like the brother your shot was going into, man. The battle was in your mind. Like the brother Mathathi just mentioned, being strong in the Lord, understanding that he got us. That's why it's mercy, man. You know, it says Ephesians. 6 verse 10 finally my brother be strong in the lord and in the power of his mind put on the whole arm of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil and we go into that word uh wiles man means the tricks man because satan got a lot of tricks mm -hmm. they come at you uh with your uh with your past sins man they come at you with doubt they come at you financially they come at you uh, through, your, through your family man through your women through your children man these are the tricks of the devil says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places oh well just harping on that point uh that he was making on the word the wiles of the devil the trickery meaning meaning uh his mo you know his, his uh method of operation how he gets down all right not just talking about the so-called white man but even the spiritual demon satan all right, the the uh, the tempter. Okay, we analyze how he uh, how he moves and how he conducts himself, how he comes and tries to tempt you uh, by reading the book of Job, man. All right, he'll come at you in uh, uh, various ways and in different aspects, different uh, attacks. He'll come at you through your substance. All right, through your children, through your woman. All right, through your friends. All right, he had uh, Satan was uh, Satan with his whole thing was trying to get Job to turn his back on the heavenly Father. And what was the one of the ways of him doing that? Going into his woman and, and uh, 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 having his woman say, uh, condemn the most high. That was Satan that was on him, yeah, man. Yeah, and that's, that's receiving what the Spirit has given us in the Spirit. Right, right. Because cause you, you could read that and you would think, well, Satan just tempted him with his children. He tempted him with his substance that was stolen. And then after that, that was it. He tempted him by putting the boils, the sickness on him. Then after that, it don't mention Satan after right, that. Right, right, right. But Satan was working through his woman, man, to, to say that thing to him, man. Yep. Satan was working through his friends, friends. man. You exactly. know what I'm saying? That, exactly. that was, when you read the book of Job, that whole deal was the work in the Satan, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But he only mentioned in the first two chapters. Right. You know? It was a constant battle, just like us. Job is symbolic for us, man. Symbolic for the hopeful elect, man. We going through what Job, Job went through, man. Brother, brother uh, uh, says it in that guy, man. You put your substance as, as if it uh, was a bag with holes, all right? Mean you can't never you always under the fucking water, barely surviving, man. All right. You may brothers may have children that, that's getting caught up in the ways of this world, all right, being top bullshit, you know. 
a, a, a woman that's disrespectful and out of order, okay? Uh, uh, um, uh, health problems, you know, everything, you know? And then Job, like the brother said, you know, Satan was uh, on Satan was on his friends, man, trying to condemn him. And then Job's mind, he's like, he's considering what his friends are saying. He's battling, he's wrestling in his mind, like, damn, am I wicked? Well, I, you know, it, it was a back and forth through the whole book, man. And through him keeping his faith until the end, no matter what thoughts came into his mind, no matter what he was put through personally, at the end of the book, you read uh, how he was rewarded. All right. How he was rewarded, received everything he lost, seven manifold, man. All right. Yeah, the scripture, uh, the scripture says in Job, man, though he slay me, he helped my trust in him. You know, yep. that whole yep. atmosphere, it was a lot about the Lord. The Lord allowed him to go through that. And, and that was beautiful the way that uh, brother brought it out, like really sitting in the atmosphere that Job was in, man. You know, he, he was in that. He looked like shit, felt like shit, you know. His Without friends was telling him he here. wasn't shit. His woman was telling him he wasn't right, shit. Right, exactly. In, a, in his ear, like imagine, like in his ear the whole time, looking at him sideways, you know. And it's that constant wrestle because you, as you go, on, as you, you know, go in this faith, go through different battles. It's a constant wrestling in your mind with multiple things that you're battling with, right? right. You know, and it's just a matter of what, and and that goes back to it, man. Praying that the Lord directs our ways and the paths of truth as we're going through those battles. That the Lord guides us in that wisdom as we're wrestling with wisdom. That he directs us in the right path, man. You know, that we still maintain our integrity, man. At any point, Job could have uh, lost his integrity at any point in that, man. But the whole time it was already preordained, it was predestined that he was going to already get the victory. We have to have that faith as well, man, that we've gotten the victory through the was shot, you know. Uh, reading this uh, next verse, really brothers, uh, back in Ephesians 6 and 14, based off all the brothers said, it says this. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparations of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked so we got that shield of faith man in the book of second corinthians tell you our weapons of our warfare and our carnal this is a mental war that we're going through man in the book of timothy it tells you man your harness as a good soldier man the lord called us to be soldiers you know, and then in a battlefield and the warfare, well, what, what is the soldier mentality? Man, I hope I make it home and I don't die on this battlefield. You know, and that's all we hoping to just make it home and don't die on the battlefield. That's why we hope that the most high direct our way in truth, man. So we can down this battlefield anytime, man. We, we might not make it home, you know, but hey, the scripture says if they some gonna uh taste death, some won't. So hey, if the Lord directed us and we laying on him. And whether we live or whether we die, the Lord got us, man. Right. And even spiritually speaking, man, we ain't trying to die spiritually, man. We know a lot, a lot of niggas that 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 fell back, man. That's when scriptures speak speak about twice dead, plucked up from the roots, man. We ain't trying to be that, you know. Right. That's that's the worst kind of death there is, is is dying spiritually, man. Dying physically for the Lord, that's that's a, a blessing according to Revelations, you know. And us as spiritual warriors, like the brother was going into. That's the uh, as a war having that more warrior mindset. A warrior, he, he his death would choose to be on the battlefields. You know, his death would choose to be out there praising Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You can you if if I die praising Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with my integrity and my faith intact, that's the best way to go out, man. You know, and that's why in the Book of Maccabees you you read about Judas. Judas, he said, man, I, I'm not gonna run for these niggas. Right. It's better for us to die now than to stain our name, man. So you run, you know, you run from from uh, your cross, uh, run for this from this calling that we have received, man. You stain in your name, man. You might as well have died, you know. This first Maccabees chapter two verse fifty says, "Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers." Yeah, be Co zealous, man. I Meaning what? On fire, you know. Being hot for this truth, having that zeal, man. It's synonymous with jealous. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that the Lord is a jealous <laughs> power. So when he see an Israelite doing what? Serving another idol. That's just like a woman uh, fucking off on her man, man. Right, right. That spirit of jealousy comes. That zealousness and jealousy is the same thing, man. You should be jealous seeing Israelite not serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, man. You should be jealous at all this that's going on, that, there, that the praise and the glory is not being given to our Heavenly Father, man. That's the zeal. That's the fervency. That's that fire, man. That's that jealousy that you have for the Lord. You know? 
So it's called a remembrance of what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and, and an everlasting name. And that's what we trying to we trying to be like uh, Mikey Garcia. He jumped up two weight classes. What was his reason? He said, I want to be mentioned among the greats. You know what I'm saying? I want to be mentioned with Muhammad Ali, with Pacquiao, with Floyd Mayweather, so on and so forth. Roy Jones. He want, he wanted to be mentioned with those great names. Well, it's the same with us, man. We want to be we want to be in the circle of the elect, man. We want to be a part of the uh, uh, King David's mighty men, man. We want to be, uh, we want to uh, sit at the table and drink wine with Yahweh Shai, man. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, you know? I want to go to that place, man. All of us, we want to go to that place, man. And the scriptures talk about uh, if a man be diligent in his work, he will not sit among mean men. Mean men means average, man. Don't want to be no average Israelite in the kingdom. You know, we've been average, below average all, all, all our lives here in America, man. Now we have gotten gotten hold of something great. You know, this is our only ticket out. So we got it. But no matter what the hell you're going through and dealing with physically, in your mind, outwardly, inwardly, whatever it is, man, hold fast that which you have already till the Lord come. He that overcometh unto the end, the same will be the power over the nations, man. We fighting for something so big that you can't let something little get in the way of that, man. You can't let your fucking stupid ass thoughts in your head Getting away from you, uh, uh, uh be becoming a god, man. Something that's temporary. Right. You, you put your, your your thoughts and in your effort and, and, and so much care into something that's about to pass away, man. <laughs> your mindset should be uh, set to the eternal. This 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 is all a, a brief moment, man. Everything in this life is a brief moment. That's why the Lord said, "Hey, cast your cares uh, all your cares upon me, because I care for you, man." Yahweh Hashem Yahshua got every aspect of our lives and everything. That's why we got to continue to pray unto Him to direct our way in truth. The meditation of, our, uh, of my heart, the words of my lips, be acceptable in thy sight. Meaning what? Clean me, clean me with this. So like that Psalm fifty-one said, renew a right spirit within me. What, what was He saying? Renew a right heart within me. Mm -hmm. Allow my heart to be made after Your heart, man. King David was a man of the Most High's heart. Meaning what? He did what what pleased the Lord, man. So it's the same thing we got to hope and pray for, you know? Right, I'll read verse 17. Mm -hmm. uh, in the back of Ephesians 6, 17, to finish it off, it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying with always, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And hey, so right there, prayer is a part of that armor. Praying always, that's a part of that armor. That's a part of keeping them darts, dodging them darts. That's a part of beating the trickery of the devil. That's you know? what holds all that armor together, man. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. without prayer, that armor fall, falling apart. Yep. Loose as hell. You can't pick up your shield. Without prayer, man, that, that, that armor means nothing, man. Yep. Yep. And it says, and for me... That the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. You read the verse that said, after have it done all to stand? Uh, uh, no. It's, it's, it's not the same one. Uh, verse 13. Verse 13, all right. Jump back to 13. It says, wherefore take unto you the whole arm of God, that ye may, may be able to withstand in the evil day. And have it done all to stand. Okay, so that whole list he read through, that's the have it done all. That's the armor. Have it. it said, above all, have faith. And after that, having that prayer. But you need it. That's part of the faith. That's showing what? That you you relying on Yahweh by Shana Yahweh Shana to handle everything. And yeah, Brother Matthias quoted the, uh, from the scripture that first Peter, what is it, five and seven? Ca cast all your cares upon the heavenly Father. And you got to, hey, like it says in the uh, fact, uh, I'm going to get it real quick. Sirach chapter 2. I believe it's chapter 2. Uh, yes, yeah, Sirach 2 and 18. Se so I'm starting at 17. Shit. Yeah, I'm starting at 17. They that feared the Lord, Yahweh Bashat and Yahweh Shai, will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in their sight. That's part of the humbling down, man. All right? To kneel down before the Heavenly Father or, or you know, acknowledge the Heavenly Father that we need him. That's part of the humbling down. And, and prayer at least that, that that's you humbling 
a prayer is you begging. That's what it means, man. When you read the prayer of Manasseh, he said, I beseech thee, I humble the knee of my mind, man. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, that's heavy. And you have a shout the parable he gave. It starts off, this is the parable so all men must, so men may know they must pray all the time. And he goes into what? The man that, that begged his neighbor to borrow, yeah. to borrow. That's how you know we the Israelites. <laughs> his neighbor came to borrow some bread, man. You know, but he said he wasn't giving to him because of his friend. It was late. He like, that wouldn't matter. He said because it's importunity. Because he was consistent, man. He humbled himself to beg his friend to borrow some bread. That were importunity pretty much uh, mm -hmm. I mean shameless begging, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't have no shame in begging his friend for that, man. That's where we gotta be, and that's us humbling ourselves right. to the Lord. Right, it's the same as Luke 18, uh, uh what they call it, the uh, importunate woman. You know, she was uh she was begging the unrighteous judge, the uh, the unjust judge, and he was he was like, I, I don't even fear God, but because of her her kids constantly constantly weary yep. me. Her constant begging, it like the brother said, importunity. Like she's getting on my damn nerve. So I'm gonna give her the justice. So how much more the Lord? And, and in the in the seventh verse, I believe it says, uh, "Shall not the Lord avenge His own elect, which yeah. cry, which beg, uh, 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 which pray day and night unto Him?" Man, yeah. and He said, and He said, "You can't worry me." Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the Lord wants you to cry out to Him. The Lord mm -hmm. wants you to do that, man. In the book of Isaiah, he said, What, man? Give him no. He was talking about himself. <laughs> Nigga, give me no rest until I establish Jerusalem as a praise in earth, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? Cry out to me for these things. What, 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 what? Hey, hey, if you need something, cry. You know, he said, What, man? If a, a, a son asks yeah. his father uh, for bread, you don't give him a, a stone. Right. Yeah. Our Heavenly Father wants us to cry out to him, man. He said, It's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So, but we got to pray for it. We got to beg for it, man. It, say, it says the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, all right, and pray, okay? Continue to watch and pray, all right? What it, what it says that the uh, the parents shall not seek to the children, but the children shall seek to the parents. Meaning what? Like, like you got to follow after, man. Seeking your how about Shami Yahushan, following after him, man. You know? It's, on, it's your job to, 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 get on the, to get on Heavenly Father's good side. Mm -hmm. We got to earn his... You know his 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 love. We gotta earn it, man. Mm -hmm. We gotta show ourselves that we want it. We show him that we want it. You know, want to be found with favor in his eyes, man. Mm -hmm. God, it's and, like, and Paul said, he said, uh, I, "I let loose all these things so I can win." You have a shot. Yep. Yep. Hey, everybody wants to win their father's fucking favorite seat spot, and that's the spirit. All these Israelites out here in the world. Hey, look, we trying to earn, we trying to earn that favorite son yeah, position. Yeah. That's the spirit, because that's what I was gonna say. You know, what son don't want the uh the honor or the love of his father to, to, to hear that hey, hey, you know, well done, you know what I'm saying? Like that, like knowing your father's proud of you and what you became. You know, you know, like 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 that, 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 that that's yeah. heavy, man. Yeah, the scriptures talk about that in the book of uh in, in the book of Sirach, man. It talks about uh when a man dies, you know, he 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 he, he's, it's like he's not even dead because he left a, a good seed, man. He he, yeah. he trusts his son to carry on his name and uh, leave his name uh, uh, honorable, man. You know, that's what we're, we're trying to be, those honorable sons, man. In the time of unrighteousness, we the ones that's establishing righteousness, man. Uh, we the ones that's yeah. standing simply for the Lord, man. Man, man, out of all the wickedness that's been portrayed in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you know, the Spirit had me mention it at the Passover. The Lord, the Lord is looking down on this earth. In the book of uh, Psalms, it says that the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. When you look out in the world, maybe you see the different atrocities and the wickedness that's been promoted throughout this place. Man, you know the Lord is pissed. Man, we vexed with the filthy conversation. How much more the Lord that sees everything? Right, right. And we ain't seeing the shit that's going on in China. The Lord see that shit, man. So imagine how pissed off the Lord is, man. But he takes comfort. In pleasure in the work that we're putting forth, man. Mm -hmm. As it is written, man, it, it is precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. We That's die daily, man. man. That's the spirit. We're giving our lives up for Yahweh Basham Yahushua. That's pleasing unto him, man. That's the comfort he has in us, man. So he looks in his world and, be, and, 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 and frown upon his place. Mm -hmm. But because of the love and the mercy he has for his men, his sons, he's patiently waiting till all come to repentance. What's that all? Some of all be elect, man. So we got to continue and, and, and pray to him and ask him to continue to lead us and guide us and teach us in his way, man. Oh, 
Now, just real fast, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 says, pray without ceasing. So we got to continuously be praying. You might not get it on the first time you pray. You might not receive those things, but you got to constantly be constantly praying. And, and, and through your prayers, uh, that you got to have faith that you're going to receive those things, you know? You know what I'm saying? You don't just stop praying because you didn't receive it the first time. Right, you got to right. constantly keep praying, man. Ah, you and, know? and that's part of trusting the Lord, too, you know? Of course, the prayer part, but mm -hmm. even if you don't get it, that doesn't mean all oh, the Lord ain't doing no, because it says uh, you ask and receive not right. because you ask a mission yes. consuming upon your lust. Some things the Lord just keep away from you and he's helping you out. That's what it all boils down to. That's why the above all, of all things, Number one thing is to pray the Lord direct our way in truth. Mm -hmm. Because everything else we can be asking and miss, but we need the Lord to direct our way in truth because he knows what, what's beneficial for us. Right. He knows what is uh, profitable for us in, in this journey. It says that Peter said the Lord knows how to, uh, to keep the ungodly and reserve them for the day of judgment and also to keep the godly and to keep them from temptation. Mm -hmm. That's what it all boils. The Lord is keeping elect from certain things, man. You can be praying for something that may not be going on, and the Lord may not give it to you because he's keeping you because he knows if you get that, you will go off. That could be detrimental. That's right. And I don't want to back you up. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. There's a way which seems right unto a man, but the end there, thereof are the ways of death. You know, like the brother was going into, man, you might think you, you, uh, you need this, but in reality, the Lord's like, nah, you know, this, this ain't for you. You know, because then at the end, yeah, you're going to end up bugging out, you know? So like that, that's why you gotta you gotta pray for him to to guide you in truth, you know. This is uh Sirach chapter uh, thirty nine and verse thirty three. It says, "All the works of the Lord are good, and He will give every needful thing in due season." So that's key right there, man. So the Lord might be praying for something, but that ain't the season for you to receive at that time, man. Might not be built up for whatever it is you may be praying for, whatever the case may be. The Lord knows. Like brother had mentioned, what we need, all right. And then when you go into the gospels, there was certain people that were healed, that were uh, receiving uh, healings, and it says within that hour that they received it. So sometimes, all right, they 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 got the healing instantly, just like that. Sometimes it took within that whole hour, you know. All right, yeah, you will be healed, and then next thing you know, uh, thirty minutes go by, forty minutes, whatever the case may be. But it's the same thing, man. It's just recognizing that hey, the Lord has His perfect timing for everything. Uh, uh, um, I believe it's Judith, and she snapped on her mid for that. Not snapped on her, that sounds later on. But she, she, you know, she did rebuke the humbly, though. She said, The Lord, come. they was like, Look, the Lord don't the live five us. Days. Is, uh, yeah, okay, God, I'm not sure about the time. She's the water, huh? So, the five days, you know, it said, The Lord don't come back in five days and help us, then fuck, we're gonna just go ahead and give ourselves over to these heathens. And she said, The Lord can do what he wanted to do, what he do it. So for one, it's the, if the Lord wants to do it, he can do it six days, seven days. All right? So, you know, we just got to remember that. The Lord is all in the, Everything's in the hands of the Lord, man. It's his well, time and not our time. That's right. You know? And if he wants to. Exactly. Because with Daniel, when they, when they was getting tossed to that, I believe it was uh, the fire, they said, look, the Lord can say he was from this fire. But if he don't, they understood the Lord can do what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Even if he don't, we still ain't going to serve you, man. Because the Lord is the true power. He does as he pleases. And we hoping that he saves us. That's what it boils down. We hope that the Lord keeps us, man. All right, can I hit this June real quick? This is June 1 and uh, um, 23. And others saved with fear pulling them out of the fires, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless, before the presence of his glory with the seed of joy. It says, uh, to you that slap to him that is able to keep you from falling. All right? To present us fallers. Man, that's who? Verse 25. To the only wise, Yahweh, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I'm one. All right? So Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, that's the only one that can keep us. We can't keep ourselves. All right? We didn't put ourselves in this truth. We can't make ourselves stay. All right? Hey, it's Ephesians second chapter calls this what? The gift of faith. That's the power that keeps us going. That you know, that spiritual power of faith. So we hey, we hope in the Lord that He direct that went truth. And that shows the faith right there. You know? It's Romans 14, verse 4. For thou that judges another man's servant, 
to his own master, he standeth or falleth. Yeah, he shall be holding up, but God is able to make him stand. And the point is that God is able to make him stand. But the only brother that was the one he was born into. Yeah, but it's the Psalms 37 and 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way, man. See, so the, so, so the Lord is devising, he's guiding, man. Verse 24, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand, man. So that's your how about Shami Shai. That's the Lord right there, man. Verse 25, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You know, and, 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 and that's what we got to continue to pray for. If the Lord continue to guide us, quicken us, strengthen us, and keep us, man. You know? And it's Psalm 119, 132. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. And you know what the scripture says? Examine thyself to it, and be in the faith. So you examine yourself, you should really know if you, if you believe in and really serve you how about shine how it shine, man. All right. So we this is what we pray for. Look, I love your name, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh I, I, I serve you, Bible Shai. Keep me in this thing. Keep the Holy Spirit upon me. Keep me in the faith. That's a prayer you ask with faith. All right, and it is, it's just that. It's, no, it's not right. Order my steps in Thy Word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. So that's what we asking for. The Lord direct us according to His Word. He put His His wisdom upon us, man. That we're making our decisions throughout our day-to-day -day lives that uh we have the scriptures and the proper understanding and discernment for that time right here in our head. He does us to follow the, those those things. Yeah. No, because they Romans 7 it said to will I know how to perform that will I don't know. So we need how about Shanghai Shah to guide us in every little thing. Yeah. It's, it's heavy. He said, let not any iniquity have dominion over me, man. Basically saying what? Hey, don't let wickedness rule over me. You know, just like how Esau is the sin, uh, the ruler of sin. Well, two thirds of our people they they caught up in that, man. So our prayer should be what, man? Hey, hey, hey let not no iniquity have dominion over us, man. The truth shall set you free. Allow us to walk freely in Thy grace. You know. This Revelations three and ten says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and patience wants to suffer, man." You read this book, uh, this book, man, and the scriptures tell you, man, you have to suffer. Too much suffering shall be into the kingdom, man. You know, confirming the souls of the disciples, man. As Acts 14, 22 says, it says, because thou hast because I has kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord is going to keep us from these things. If we do what? If we acknowledge him, you know, and we submit and humble ourselves to be cleansed and washed, which starts by repenting, acknowledging the truth. It says, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the Lord is going to keep us from our temptation, man, for the sacrifices we make, you know, for the acknowledges that we uh, acknowledge our sins, man. You know, and, and it's on the Lord's mercy that we're not the soul, man, because he's keeping us. Close it up, last couple one. This is uh, Titus chapter 2 and verse uh, 14. It says, Who gave himself up for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular people, zealous of good works. Superior people, zealous of good works. Uh, you want to speak on it? Uh, read it again, bro. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Titus 2 and 14. It says, Who gave himself up for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular people, zealous oh, yeah, of good works. A particular people, not everybody, but a particular group of people. You're supposed to say peculiar, just like in uh, Exodus, right, speaks about right. a, a peculiar people, mm -hmm. you know, which you know, Israelites, yeah, like uh, in, um, in Psalms, it talks about uh, Israel being a peculiar treasure, you know, uh, but that's not that's not talking about everybody. That's talking about the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. The Lord gave his body to what? To uh, purify us, to cleanse us, man. All right? And if we believe that, then that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, man. 
We believe that the Lord died for our sins. We believe if we continue on to the end that he's going to save us, man. So it's just a matter of continuing to uh, push, continue to grow, constantly abounding, being steadfast and unmovable, you know? Hey, start up, start at 11. This is Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, For the grace of Yahweh that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. All Israelite men, right? And only elect is going to uh, be granted that. Go ahead. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. You see? So this is what the Lord is teaching us. So we're continuing to pray that he continue to keep the spirit on us to guide us in those steps, man. Go ahead. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, mm -hmm. who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Right. You know, these things teach. What are we teaching, man? Things that's pleasing unto the Heavenly Father. You got to continue to pray to the Lord to direct your, your way in truth as we started with. You know, we got any goals in a uh, scripture statement? Kind of, kind of. I'll close out with this. This is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 7 and verse uh, 6. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, looketh upon us and in truth hath comfort in us, as Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declaring, saying, And he shall be comforted. In his servants, and that's it, man. So, hey, like the brother had mentioned, the Lord sees all this weakness that's happened upon the planet Earth, and the only ones that He's having comfort in is His servants, man. These prayers that we're putting up, those are sweet savers, man. You know, these things, these works that we're doing, this is pleasing unto the Lord. And then it's so cold because this is pleasing the Lord, but He's the one that put it in our spirit to do it. He's willing us to do it. I'm gonna make you do what makes me happy, you know. I'm gonna program you to do what's uh, what I what uh, was pleasing unto me, man. And that's why we have to continually pray uh, that the Lord directs our uh, ways in the paths of truth, man. All right, that's that's beautiful, man. The Lord has put it in our spirits to do what's acceptable unto Him, and then it, and and it's gonna give us salvation, Lord, when we be of that number, man. All because of what He put it in our spirits to do, man. God, hey, it's in the book of Isaiah. It says, "My own arm brought salvation unto me." Mm -hmm. hey, the Lord did this. This is Jeremiah ten twenty three. Oh, yeah, how I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not a man that walketh to direct his steps. And that's Rock 18. It says we can't give ourselves a fleshy heart for a stony heart. This flesh is just one of the wickedness, so it's not in us, right? We need Yahweh Bashi to direct our way in truth. Oh, yeah, how will correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. And that's our hope and prayer, man, that the Lord direct us and you know, judge us, but not anger. That he corrects us in mercies, man. He, he corrects us in, in mercies and chastisements as opposed to bringing us to nothing like the rest of the seasons, man. So we fight. Hey, the only we receive this ministry of mercies, we faint not. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Uh, real quick, this is Sirach, uh 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So when you come into this truth, you got to, you know, count the cost. You got to examine yourself because, hey, just like an example, if you join the army or something, which our people shouldn't be doing. But if you join the army, you don't want to, uh, you know, have like a dishonorable discharge because you didn't finish or you got, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you didn't finish the course, you know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you, you know, that you, you, you count the cost and, 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 and pray that you endure to the end because those are the ones that's going to be saved. The ones that endured until the end, you know. Um, this is Romans 9 and 20. This is nay, but nay, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against the most high? Should a thing form say unto him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? And not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel vessel unto honor and to another unto dishonor? You know, hey, so we gotta keep we gotta pray and we gotta uh, ask the Lord to. Hey, hopefully we're that vessel, man. That vessel unto honor. You know, not that vessel unto dishonor, man. You know, to guide our steps so that we're, hey, we'll filter everything uh, out through, uh, through the scriptures. You know, everything we'll be doing will be according to his pleasure. You know, 
Right, because in uh, Timothy's it says that there's a house of, uh, of gold and silver, and then there's a house of well, wood and um, I believe it says uh, wood and earth. Right, so we want to be the, the the house that it was talking about. It's talking about the house of Israel. All right, the gold and the silver is the elect. That's the number that we're striving to be a part of. And if you're trying to be that gold and silver, you have to be purified. That's what that Sirach is going into. With my son, if you come to prepare, uh, serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. When you come down, it says, "Gold, gold is tried in the fire, and uh, 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 acceptable men in the furnace of adversity." So it's the purifying process, so that we're not the wood and the uh, uh, and the hay. Because when you put fire to wood and hay, that burns. You know. One more, where I quit. Uh, Hebrews eleven and six. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right? So it's impossible to, to serve the Lord without faith, man. We got to keep serving him and, until he return, man, diligently seeking him, praying and, and crying out to him that, hey, that he's going to come in and, and deliver us out of this, this hell hole, you know? You know? Uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 16, verse 7. It says, I will bless you, I will shy who have given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night seasons, you know, because it, it tells you, uh, look at the generations of old and see uh, 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 was any confounded that trusted in the Lord, man. You know, we have a, a strict uh, path, uh, we, we, we have a correct path, you know, a blueprint, a guideline on how uh, we should be living, you know, how, how the prophets were going to be in the, in the last days and how we should conduct ourselves. It says, uh, I have set Yahweh by Shem Shai before me, because he is at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. You know, that, that, that's why we're, we're, we're the hopeful elect. You know, we're hoping that by, by doing the, the, the things that are written within these scriptures, by, by going the path that Yahweh by Shem has set up for us, that we will receive that mercy, we will receive that, that, that salvation. Uh, so, hey, with that, we hope that was that fine. Give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekach, Kodash. Now, honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's right to divide the word of truth directly and correctly. Shalom. 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 Shalom.